third and one yard for Mylik Mitchell. And Mitchell's going to hand it off to Mike Jones. A little stutter step inside. Breaks a tackle. And he's off and running and knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Mike Jones, 5'11", 210. And that's a man you do not want to face one-on-one. -on -one. Absolutely not. Good job of getting behind that double team, right, and being patient behind the center. And once he found a gap, he took it. Really did show a burst of speed for the big man, right? Absolutely. And uh, he is... As I said, Mr. Sugar Skull now in his fifth season, every single season with the Sugar Skulls in their existence. All right, first down now, inside handoff to Kerrigan. Harry Kerrigan makes one man miss, and then he's nailed from behind uh, at the 10 yard line. Nice little pick up there. You'll take that on first down. Yeah, you know, you want to stay in front of the change. You know, we talked, I talked a little bit about that with Coach Back, and that's something he, he wanted to talk about. And, and uh, you know, it's always, um, very favorable when you're calling plays and you're staying in front of the change and you're getting a third and second and five, third and five, it's a lot more manageable down. Yep, so second down, they're gonna try to flip that over. There we go, second down from the 10 as the chain gang gets it all set. And back to work goes Malik Mitchell. Mitchell's got Mike Jones lined up next to him. He's looking left. Now he's going to take off running. Tucks the ball down to the five, makes a man miss, and dives forward to the one-yard line. What a move. And there you see the ability of my league. Yeah, he just outstanding job of pushing up in the pocket. Good things happen when you do that, and, and got another first down for the Sugar Scores. The reigning indoor football league offensive player of the week, he accounted for all seven touchdowns last week. And uh, he can get it done with his legs. He has proven that in the first two games. Eight total rushing touchdowns already this season. Mike Jones now to his left. He hands it off to Mike Jones, and he is smothered in the backfield. That one was sniffed out. Uh, nice job by the Bay Area Panthers defense. Yeah, and, and um, you know, I got an opportunity to watch the Bay Area defense. Um, they did a really good job against the Rattlers, and uh, they just fly around and get to the ball. Yeah, they... Uh, you know, that's a confident group over there, having won a championship last year. They've got to the bulk of their players back as well, which is something you don't often see. Now they have a new quarterback in Daquan Neal, who uh, Tucson Sugar Skulls fans know well, and we'll see him in a moment. But they have a, a lot of returners. Second goal now for Mylik Mitchell. Surveys the field, fires quickly, caught and stretching. No, incomplete. The ball came out, and that was Chris Jackson. The wide receiver out of BYU, and uh, he had it stripped, or if it just wasn't really ever pulled in. We'll see yeah, the that replay. Was a yeah, really good job by Kerrigan um, outside releasing because they were trying to combo the two motion guys, and the ball was, you know, went to the right spot where it was supposed to go. Justin Nash, the linesman over there, right on it, said it was incomplete, and it was third and goal now for the Sugar Skulls. Fakes the handoff, Carrick, uh, Mitch, uh, Mike Mitchell, and Mitchell scores! Tucson Sugar Skulls touchdown, there's a flag, it's coming back, I believe. Yep, it's gonna be a holding. Yo, know, that's unfortunate, it was a yeah. nice individual effort. Yeah, good job of the quarterback. You know, the front side play wasn't there and he made one guy miss and but too bad there was a holding penalty. And that's going to take it all the way back out to the 11. So it'll be third and goal from the 11 now, and that certainly changes a lot, Nick, in your play calling. Yeah, you got to you got to try to take a shot at the at the end zone, but also understand that if it's not there, you know, you got a good kicker that can kick a field goal and get you three points uh, in this first drive. Dimitri Fatinos out of uh, Pima Community College and Saguaro High School here in Tucson. So we'll see him. At some point, hopefully it's as an extra point though. Third down at the 11 for the Sugar Skulls. Mitchell under pressure, fires and it's incomplete and wanting a flag is uh, C.J. Tate and he's not gonna get one. It, there was certainly contact there. It might've just been some feet getting tripped, uh, you know, tangled up. Yeah, that's what it kind of looked like. Kind of, you know, um, feet kind of got tangled up. Here's a look at the re, yeah, it was just, you know, that's what we said. Feet get tangled. Guy makes a cut and can't see it on that angle, but uh, definitely uh, not worthy of a flag in the eyes of the referees. So our first look here at home of the hometown kid, Dimitri Fatinos. About a 28-yard field goal attempt here. 
Kick is up, and the kick is good. And the Sugar Skulls are on the board with a 3-0 lead after the opening drive. At least you get points. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take a break right now. Sugar Skulls lead it. 9.16 to go in the first quarter, 3 to nothing. Stay with us. We are going to stay here as uh, the Sugar Skulls get ready to flip things around and go on the defensive end of things. Uh, you know, the one thing I, you know, going back to my days calling the uh, Iowa Barnstormers and, the, and, and Kurt Warner days back in the 90s in, in, in uh, Des Moines, Iowa, it was always important to have one or two guys from that hometown. And in Fatino's, the, the, the kicker, uh, what a great story. Pima Community College no longer has football, but he was on that team. Uh, Saguaro High School locally, too. You, you kind of want to latch on to guys, right, and, and know that uh, this kid grew up here and, and now he's playing for his hometown team. Yeah, that's always um, a nice thing to have, you know, root for the hometown kid and have him play for the hometown team, you know. Um, just kind of makes you feel like somebody's invested in this team just like you are if you're paying a few bucks to come out here and watch these games. And here is Fatino's with the high kick and coming out, returning it, and upended quickly. Look at Lewis with the terrific job of upending uh, the return man, and that was Bailey. And uh, wow, that's uh, that's a nice hit. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's always nice to get in there, and that's the first play of defense right there. Good point. Now he did return it out to the 14, but no further after that. Nice play by the Sugar Skulls special teams. Now our first look at the quarterback of the Bay Area Panthers, Daquan Neal, wearing the Bay Area Panthers uniform. Of course, last year he was up in Vegas. The year before that, he was right here in Tucson, and he was a record-setting quarterback here in Tucson. Now he is with Bay Area. He makes an already championship-caliber team even better in a lot of ways. Yeah, he's very dynamic uh, when you put the film on. Under center and fakes the handoff, looking deep, looking deep again, throws, and it's incomplete. Nice job. Now they're going to call a flag, and I don't know if that was necessarily a flag. A little contact for sure. Look, looks like they're calling offensive PI. All right, well, that'd be... That'd be okay with me then. Jalen Floyd was the defensive back on coverage. The ball looked like it was overthrown anyway. So, yeah, we'll take the penalty. If you're a Sugar Skulls fan, you're going to love that. We're going to see it here. and It happened just after we were not able to see the play, but there was some pushing in the back, I guess. Maybe that was the call, Nick. Yeah, you know, I think that's what they're going to call on that one. He's pushing him in the back, not allowing the DB. He has every right to go after right. that ball just like him, you know. You got to like the play call, though. They're really going after it, right? Yeah, first yeah, play. take a shot right off first play. I love it. Taquan Neal now back in shotgun, but he's facing a first and long here. And the low snap picked up. Blitz comes, picked up, and caught. And that is going to be a sh touchdown. Jajaric Peterson, the former Arizona Rattler with the touchdown for the Bay Area Panthers, and they take the lead at 6-3 to three pending the extra point. Yeah, just a good, good decision by the quarterback, good release by the receiver. Looks like they were running hitches across the board, and, and that DB tried to come up and press them, and he just took it vertically and uh, had six for the touchdown. And Farrell was coming in on Daquan, and he took a hit too. It was just got it off in the nick of time, and it is a, a touchdown and an impressive one for Bay Area. Extra point coming, and that try is up, and it's good. And just like that, in this indoor game, as quickly as you take the lead, you can give it right back. Bay Area takes a 7-3 lead, 7.20 to go here in the first quarter. You're watching Tucson Sugar Skulls football. Hey, you. We've got something new in the store. Well, not really in where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. 
Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. We love the plays, we love the hits, but not the pain. Some people use ice, but others use Pima Pain Center. Being a parent, especially for the first time, with that comes a lot of self-doubt. As a dad, I just try to lead by example. When you're trying to be the best person that you can be, your kids see that and then they emulate that. Back here at the Boneyard, a quick strike offense. The Bay Area Panthers take their first lead of the game on their first possession. They score a touchdown. The Sugar Skulls only a field goal in their opening possession, so it is now 7-3 to three here in the first quarter of play at the Boneyard, Tucson Arena. Getting set for another possession for the Sugar Skulls. Kickoff coming from Craig Peterson, squibbed again, and it goes right into the stands. That's a benefit for the Sugar Skulls because it went out way upfield at about the 18 yard line. Nice starting position there. And that was A 43-yard touchdown play from Daquan Neal to Peterson. Now we'll see if the Sugar Skulls can answer back, Nick. Always important to get right back out there and get your offense going. Yeah, try to answer the score with the score. You know, get the ball out of his hand quickly right here. Probably get a little three-step or probably run with uh, Mike Jones. Mitchell with Jones lined up next to him in the backfield. Outside receivers in the motion. Looking, plenty of room to go right up the middle. He does, dives forward, avoids the tackle, and gets across midfield to the 24-yard line. Nice job. Yeah, good job of him pushing up in the pocket again. Uh, the, the Bay Area Panthers are really doing a good job of uh, playing some, some good coverage on their receivers right now. You know, you look at a guy like Malik Mitchell and his ability to run so much, do you wonder why they're leaving the middle of the field open like that so much? Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure why they're doing that. You know, look, probably because they're so afraid of these receivers they have. And they've got Mike Jones to worry about too. Nice sidestep, and he's going to pick up the first down a little bit more. Boy, that big man has quick feet, and he's able to cut in no time. Yeah, every time I watch him, I just get more and more impressed on his ability to get uh, positive yards, right? Even if he's got something in the backfield where they got him cornered, he finds a way to get a, uh, positive yards and stay in front of the chains, you know? Well, his uh, ability to do this now for five seasons makes you think that this is a guy that should get a little consideration uh, maybe down the road for a, a Hall of Fame. He's kind of got that kind of a, uh, you know, all IFL type career going and you wonder if there isn't a place for him because he's really changed this game in a lot of ways with the big running back complete with the crossing pattern there and a nice job by Mike Jones. You can sh see he can catch the ball too. Yeah, very versatile, you know. I mean, that was something I was going to talk about right after you, man. He could just, when you put the film on, he's got great hands in, as you can see on that play right there, running the crossing route. Well, he does have three rushing touchdowns this season and already a receiving touchdown. And trying to add all those totals here on this drive as the Sugar Skulls find themselves trailing in the early going midway through the first quarter at seven to three. Mitchell takes the snap, looks to his right, looks back to his right, and it's complete. Is it a touchdown? And it is the touchdown catch by Jalen Marshall, and Marshall just picked up out of Ohio State. And this kid has got some talent. 
and they just signed him recently. Uh, second Ohio State receiver, by the way, on the Sugar Skulls, but Jalen Marshall is a real talent. Uh, he was uh, in the NFL for a short time. He's played in the CFL, and here he is with the Sugar Skulls. Yeah, just, just a great route of pushing past the goal line and breaking him off to the out route and good timing, good good ball spot for the quarterback. Now a quick answer for the Sugar Skulls, just a few plays, and there is the extra point as well to give the Sugar Skulls that 10-7 lead now with 4.13 to go here in the first quarter. You like the poise, and then you like the ability for Malik Mitchell to thread that ball in there. That's not an easy throw, right? Yeah, that was a really tight window, right? And especially with the rounded end zones, you, you know, you got to try to work the middle of the field, and you got to be very precise when you're um, when you're throwing the ball in the red zone. You know, this league never ceases to amaze me about guys. You know, you get these rookies coming right out of college, but then you get these guys that have been around a little bit. They have a little NFL, uh, you know, training camp experience or practice squad experience. They have a little CFL experience, and they just don't want their career to be over yet, right? They want, they think that this is their next step to maybe even getting back to the NFL or something. Yeah, right. I mean, in the NFL, you know, like in baseball, you have minor leagues, triple A, you know, stuff like that. And, and this is kind of their opportunity to showcase their skills, put some good good work on film so they can kind of get back into the league because there's a lot of talent, as you can see right here tonight. Yep. We saw Daquan Neal get a couple of looks uh, two years ago when he was uh, the quarterback here in Tucson, got a chance with the Colts for a, for a little tryout and uh, left for a week and then came back. And you just never know in this league. Uh, you know, there's only been one Kurt Warner, but there might be another one right around the corner. And absolutely, you never know whose eye you're going to see. So every time you put film on, you know, you got to put your best foot forward and uh, compete, right? Uh, the crowd's certainly appreciative of uh, what they've seen so far. We've seen 17 points and uh, still four minutes to go here in this first quarter. When you're, when you're uh, in one of these kind of back and forth type games, what, what is that mentality? Is just give me the ball back and let's go? Yeah, it's kind of like that basketball mentality, right? The last person that has the possession will probably tr truly try to win that game and and uh, that's what kind of it's a it's a it's a track meet right so you got to be moving as you can see bay area they're coming out right off the gate trying to take a shot go deep and then the next play um, opportunity showed that they could take it deep and that's what they did so um, you know we want to try to score points and see if the other team can ke ke keep up well right now it's the sugar skulls that have the advantage after that Malik uh, Mitchell to uh, Marshall touchdown pass and I'm sure we'll be calling Jalen Marshall's uh, name a lot uh, because uh, he's that kind of a talent. Left uh, Ohio State after just a couple of seasons to go to the NFL, was undrafted uh, by and picked up by the Jets and he still I'm sure has aspirations of playing back in the NFL or perhaps uh, you know, at another level, we'll have to see. But right now he's a sugar skull and we're appreciative of that fact. There's the kick and the return again by Bailey and Bailey gets out over the 15 and he's uh, taken down at the 17. So again, they'll start at the 17 yard line and try to answer back. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting to see what the adjustments are on the defensive side. You know, it looks like, like I said, the Bay Area is trying to push it vertically down the field. I asked Billy back earlier this week at practice about his defense and we've talked about Ray Kaiser we'll continue to talk about his defensive coordinator he's he's finds uh, Billy back finds it uh, very fortunate that he has such a high caliber defensive coordinator Ray Kaiser but he said what he wants this defense to do is not what they've done the last couple of years they've been a little bit more of a sit back defense he wants them to attack he said we're an attacking defense we saw that on the unfortunately on that touchdown when they attacked and they it left a, a man on man and and they got beat. We'll see how they do here. Here's Daquan Neal throwing deep again and open and overthrown is uh, the receiver, and that is TJ Stokes, uh, JT Stokes, and JT Stokes is a veteran of this league too. Yeah, just a, that's a good route by Stokes. He got on top of the receiver's toes, closed that cushion, made one move to the corner, and went to the post. We, you know, we kind of got lucky right there, but on the scorebook, on the on the on the box sheet, it's going to be an yeah, incomplete. So. Just an incomplete, Short but he, he was open. You, uh, you're, defensively, you want to say, okay, we're not going to let that happen again. <laughs> but they dodged a bullet, did the Sugar Skulls. It brings up second down now, second and 10 for the 17 for Daquan Neal and the Bay Area Panthers. And he pitches it, and this 
is Simpson, and Simpson is going to get snowed under. Not much there, maybe two yards for him. Yeah, good job of bottling him up on the backside end right there. The Sugar Skulls with their defensive line, and Utley, Jones, Tanner, uh, they have got uh, some guys with some experience uh, at the college level, and they're all three rookies, but as we mentioned, third game of the season, you're hardly a rookie. You understand what your assignment is, and you understand the speed of this game. Yeah, now you're starting to, you're not thinking as much, you're just playing fast. Here goes Daquan Neal on third down. And he looks left and he throws deep, and that's into the stands, incomplete, bringing up fourth down now. Yeah, he had Stokes he, right there in the flats. You know, now it's fourth and eight, you know. You know, you know, sometimes those big shots in arena football, you want to take the shot on first and second, but on third and fourth, you try to think about the chains and get the first down, right? And here's Dixie Wooten, the offensive coordinator, the former Sugar Skulls head coach. Dixie is a trimmed down version of Dixie Wooten. He looks like he's been working out, and he's uh, now sending out Daquan Neal with the play on fourth down here. We'll see what they call up. A little more talking in the backfield. Play clock down to three, sends his receivers, gets it off just in time, surveying the field, and nowhere to go. Now he's going to try to run, and he beats one defender, and he sidesteps another, and he picks up the first down, falls down on his own. He's still going. Are they going to give him all that yardage, or did he get touched? Now they're going to give him, well, now one that the, the linesman is coming over here, and I think they're going to say, did he get touched? Or did he fall down on his own? I guess he fell down on his own. He got back up and kept on running. That's a huge pickup for Daquan Neal. Yeah, what a, what a play he made on fourth down, you know. Uh, made two guys miss, made one, two guys run into each other. And uh, looking, looking real good offensively inside the five-yard line. And the Sugar Skulls are going to take a timeout after that with 45 seconds to go here in the first quarter. I wonder if they want to look at their iPad and see if they can spot that he was down way back at about the 20. So we'll see what they're doing here with this timeout. You know, sometimes you just need to reset your defense, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, on that one, you just can't get too aggressive up the field at the end. That's what it looked like. Uh, you know, you got to rally, get to the ball. I mean, he just made a great play. Yeah, I he mean, did. Made a really good play. And here is a replay of it. And you see, he was trying to guide his receivers, and all of a sudden he said, I'm going to take off but he makes two guys miss right there. And then he just falls down on his own. He's definitely down on his own. And then he realizes, hey, I, nobody touched me. I can keep running. Yeah, the defense has got to play to the whistle, right? Any chance you can get a hit on a quarterback, even if it's a little one, right? Those, are, those will add up at the end of the game. Well, I think the officials got that one right, and I don't think that's something you're going to try to challenge. Uh, I do see the – I do see them – you know, kind of talking about what should we challenge it? No, I think uh, they look at those. You know, that's the one thing about this league too is every the coaches all have those iPads and they're watching to see anything because you can you can challenge anything in this game, which is crazy, right? Yeah, it's a little different. I mean, um, but at the end of the day, you want to want to try to be able to get the right call, right? And so um, we didn't have that when I played, but that was, that's pretty cool to be able to yep. change some some outcomes of the that's game. That's exactly right. First and goal now as the Bay Area Panthers try to retake the lead here in the first quarter in a high-scoring affair in Tucson. And that handoff to Simpson, and he's knocked out of bounds just short. That's Shane Simpson. He's already got four rushing touchdowns in just two games this season and nearly had a fifth. Yeah, they're trying to isolate that backside end, trying to run an outside zone read. Quick pitch again. This time he's going to make it in. That is a touchdown for Shane Simpson, and the Bay Area Panthers have retaken the lead. Yeah, good job by the Bay Area. Just getting up real quick, calling the pitch, pitch play to the left and getting in the end zone, you know. And a one-yard touchdown run it was, and it was really all set up by the legs of Daquan Neal. And Bay Area, pending the outcome of this extra point, will end the quarter with the lead. Peterson out for the extra point try. Felix Harper, the backup quarterback, is the one who holds. 
And the kick is up, and it's good. So now we have a 14-10 Bay Area lead after one quarter. We'll take a timeout. Second quarter action coming up next. You're watching Tucson Sugar Skulls football. Football. We love the plays. We love the hits, but not the pain. Some people use ice, but others use Pima Pain Center. Hey you, we've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. When they learn something new, and you can just see in their faces, it's such an incredible moment. It's those moments that are my favorite. Back here at the Boneyard, Sugar Skulls fans rooting on their team, but trailing right now by a score of 14 to 10 with second quarter action just about to get underway as Craig Peterson with the Bay Area Panthers will be kicking this one off following the four, a fifth rushing touchdown of the season for Shane Simpson, the running back for Bay Area, the defending IFL national champions. Sugar Skulls losing last season in the playoffs to Bay Area as Bay Area was on their way to a championship. And back to return it for the Sugar Skulls is Mike Kerrigan. This time the ball's going to bounce high. Kerrigan's going to catch it on the one hop, cut to his right. And is he going to get the corner? No, he's dragged down at the 12-yard line. So starting position for the Sugar Shoals, not too bad at the 12. Remember, they had a shorter field last time because of the kickoff out of bounds. This time he tried something else. Yeah, just the dribble, the hot shot, they called it, just kind of trying to hit a guy in front of them, those, that front line. Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you know. All the old idiosyncrasies of the indoor game, right? The yep. Stuff you never see outdoors that you see indoors. It's just the way it goes with a 50-yard field. You're playing in a, on a hockey rink, basically, here in Tucson, because we just had the Roadrunners hockey team playing on this same area last night. Now the turf laid over the top. Mitchell looking, throwing, catching it is Kerrigan, and he's right at the first down marker. Are they going to give it to him? I think they are. Yeah, nope, just second a, down, just short of it, second down. Yeah, just a good high-low on the um, with the two motion receivers, right? Um, good, good window, good spacing by the offense. And that'll bring up second and very short for the Sugar Skulls. About a yard. Kerrigan up on the line now. Two guys in motion, including Mike Jones. He's going to take that inside handoff. Bounce to the outside. Not much running room. In fact, he's not going to get any. Might have lost a yard on that one. They really saw that one coming, I think, in a lot of ways. Yeah, they did a good job of keeping outside contain on that by the front side end. And looked like the timing got messed up yeah. with the motion a little bit, right. which kind of threw off the play. He was... You know, you got big Mike Jones having to slow up to take the handoff. That's not always a good thing. Yeah, we want to use that motion to our advantage and try to come downhill uh, with a big back like Mike Jones, you know. So third and two now after the one-yard loss. This time Jones will line up sidecar to Malik Mitchell in the backfield. 
He's going to take off the quarterback keeper, and he'll get easily the first down. Pick, picks up almost 10 yards on that play. Yeah, just good job of following his back right there. Just a little QB lead to the left, getting the first down, moving the chains. His ability to run is just uh, pretty remarkable. He, he looks like, you know, a speedy wide receiver out there that uh, happens to be a quarterback at the same time. Yeah, he's and he's also a very big quarterback. I think 6'4", 210, yeah. 215. You know, he's got that swagger that no one's going to stop him, and that's what you want to see in your in the leader at your quarterback position. Tate's going to move up to this right side at the line. Mike Jones is on the other side, and you've got – Two receivers in motion, including Kerrigan, and the inside handoff faked, and then throwing, and there's Kerrigan, and he oh. cannot hold on off the fingertips and off the wall, and he had a step. Yeah, just a great play design by Coach Back. We're running that play action, fly sweep to the left, trying to attack the eyes of the defense, right, and throw the post right behind him. Good play by the uh, middle safety for a Bay Area. It was. Jalen Marshall, who had caught a touchdown earlier, was the one that they uh, faked that a little inside handoff, motion handoff, and we're seeing him a little bit more here in this second half. All right, now an empty backfield for Mylik Mitchell. On second and 10. Up the middle comes oh, the no. blitz. He throws, and it's incomplete to Kerrigan, in and out of his hands. And, boy, that defensive back seemed like he got there a little early. Yeah, yeah, the receiver kind of got caught with the, you know, with this footwork in the carpet. Sometimes that happens and kind of threw off the timing and looked like he was trying to fake like he was going to go vertically and then sit it down and kind of mess up his, the timing of the quarterback. Third and ten now after two incomplete passes that were both just on the fingertips of Kerrigan. Right here is the quarterback. I'm thinking, got to get a completion, right? Got to get it on a manageable fourth down. Tate a little confused, now he's going. Looking that way is Mitchell, he's gonna take off running. He's got a plenty of room, he's got one man to beat, stays on his feet and gets the first down to the 10. Nice job. Yeah, just a great job. Good things happen, tell you push in the pocket. I'm gonna be saying that all year because it's so true, right? You know, you either get, you keep your eyes open down the field looking for a guy or you're gonna get a 10 yard gain just like that. Great job by Mitchell. That Gets inside the 10 yard line, so it'll be first and goal from a long nine now for the Sugar Skulls. But uh, yeah, keep those chains moving and keep those feet moving from Mike Mitchell. He's been very impressive to watch so far here as we get in the early going of the second quarter. Got Jackson split out to the left. You've got Mike Jones also to the left and the two receivers coming. Here comes Tate. Inside, bobbles the ball, spins, and he's going to get smothered for a four-yard loss. Just a timing off on that one as well. Yeah, they got to clean that up. Um, you know, that just starts at practice. But, uh, you know, you never want to start the red zone on the first play going backwards. Now they'll say he only lost two yards on that play, and that was a little fortunate. But, yeah, when you, when you got your – Guy with the ball bobbling it like that, that's always a scary sight. And you talked about no turnovers, and that was nearly a turnover. Sugar Skull is now facing second and goal from the 11. Mike Jones lined up next to Malik Mitchell. Mitchell looks to his right. The lefty then fires, and it's off the fingertips of Chris Jackson. Well, we've had a lot of balls just miss in this drive. Yeah, I think um, that was a good good play call right there um, by Coach Back. Just, again, trying to attack the eyes of the defense. And he had a little stutter step and then went to the post, right? Got to make those catches in the crunch, crunch time. A lot going on there with a defensive back and a wall coming at with the ball at the same time. But, uh, yeah, that's what you're – you're here to do. You got to make those catches, right? Yeah, those are those are tough catches, and there's a saying: the wall uh, is undefeated. Yes, so. it is. <laughs> Always undefeated, and it does not move. Two guys split out way to the right here. He's looking that way as Mitchell, and he's under pressure, and he's going to get he's going to get sacked. Sack for the Bay Area Panthers, and puts the Sugar Skulls in a real predicament here. Fourth and goal, but all the way out at the 18-yard line. What do you got for fourth and goal from the 18, Nick? 
Looks like coach is going to bring out the field goal yeah, team. Yeah, I don't blame him. Take the points. Yep. You don't want empty possessions. You know, we always kid about, you know, it's a half a stop for the defense as long as you can get that field goal, but you don't want a full stop here. Now this is going to be a 35-yard field goal try. And remember the narrow goal posts of 10 feet wide. And Dimitri Fatinos up and good nicely done by the saguaro cougar from here in tucson there's a flag on the play let's see what that is they're going to call something against the sugar skulls Well, you don't see holding a lot on extra point or field goal tries, but we just saw one there apparently. And I think it was Dallas Reigns is who they called that on. The Sugar Skull, kind of the veteran of that group. He has been here a couple of seasons now, and that just uh, tacks on more yardage to this. This is going to be a real hefty field goal now. Going to be a 45-yard field goal now, Nick. Yeah, that's – you never want to be – you know, if you, especially when you made it, right? You want to be able to take the points. Kerrigan holding. High snap, gets it down, and that ball was tipped. And it's going to be returned, and that is a return man in Peterson. Jazeric Peterson gets all the way out to almost midfield. And, you know, that was one of those things that could have been way worse than it was, but it didn't turn out very well either way. Yeah, those, those small penalties and those – you know, those kind of add up at the end of the game, right? So, tough one, tough one. You had three points, penalty took that away. So the special teams come up big here for Bay Area, not only the holding penalty, but then they were able to uh, get that return. We're going to take a timeout. Sugar Skulls trailing 14-10 to Bay Area. Stay with us. Hey you, we've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. We love the plays, we love the hits, but not the pain. Some people use ice, but others use Pima Pain Center. Being a parent, especially for the first time, with that comes a lot of self-doubt. As a dad, I just try to lead by example. When you're trying to be the best person that you can be, your kids see that and then they emulate that. Seven oh seven to play here in the second quarter. Back to action as the Bay Area Panthers take over after that partially blocked field goal return back to near midfield. Daquan Neal with a four point lead and the football. And that was gonna be that's gonna be false start, right? Yeah, it looks like they're going back. Yeah. I think the center didn't snap the ball, but a lot of guys were already moving. So now you got to take advantage if there's Sugar Skull's defense here, push them back further. And, you, you know, there are times when you need stops. You'd always like to get them, but this is one of those times it feels like you really need to get a stop from the defense. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, you, you want to go into half 
you know, you get the ball the second half, so you want to be able to go into the half, get a stop, get another score, and put them in chase mode a little bit, you know? Taquan Neal now facing first and 15. He's going to keep it, and he's going to break a tackle, and then he's going to fall forward for about a pickup of seven yards. And right there to make the stop was Robert Sheffield, and Daquan Neal just proved to be a little too elusive. Yeah, it's just a dynamic play by uh, Neal. We've seen it all night so far. You know, they ran a little fake the fly sweep to the right and had the back the backside guard pull around, and he got right behind them. So um, they got to make that tackle. Right? You got to make that first-hand tackle. Second and seven now for the Panthers. As Dixie Wooten sends in the play for Daquan Neal. Both former Tucson Sugar Skulls now in Bay Area. And all alone in the backfield is Daquan Neal. Fumbles the snap but fires and that's complete and then knocked backwards but I believe they'll give him the first down and that's Pierre Williams making the catch and they do down to the 14 yard line for a first down Panthers. Yeah, good job of uh, Neil getting the ball out quickly, getting it out of his hands, get into his playmaker's hands and let him do the work. Shane Simpson now lined up beside him as we're approaching five and a half minutes to play here in the second quarter. Chain gang has the chain set, the handoff to Simpson and he finds very little room. In fact, he's pulled backwards a uh, nice job by the Sugar Skulls, but especially Braden Utley from Baylor. The big lineman pulls him backwards. Yeah, he's been all over the field so far this game and, and the previous games as well that I've seen. You know, the kid got a motor, he gets to the ball. Good play by him today. Another one of those rookies. But uh, when you play at Baylor, and he played a lot at Baylor, 57 tackles, three sacks in his career, that's a guy that's got some ability, and he's showing it right here for the Sugar Skulls. Now, second down and nine for the Panthers. Neal's gonna take off run, he's got some room and gets knocked down at about the seven yard line. Oh, he's quick, isn't he? Yeah, very explosive, good job of getting up in that pocket on that design quarterback run. You think, okay, if we can take away the pass from Daquan Neal, yeah, then he'll beat us with his feet. And if we take away the run, then he'll beat us with his arm. I, it's, I, I guess they're, feeling the same way about Mitchell that we feel about Neal right now. Right, right. Third down and four for Daquan Neal. He's going to go with an empty backfield. And he looks to his right, fakes, goes back to his left, nowhere to go, fires again, this time into the stands incomplete. Yeah, good job of the DBs being patient. Looks like they tried to do a fake screen to the field, didn't fall for it. Good job of him just kind of throwing it away. And we got fourth down. Fourth down. Fourth and four from the eight yard line. The Sugar Skulls need a stop. 3.30 coming up here. Left in that first half. Got to contain the quarterback right here on fourth down. Got Simpson now to his sidecar left. Now Simpson goes out and lines up on the left of the line. Looking right is Neal, throws and knocked away. Nice play by Robert Sheffield and a turnover on downs. The Sugar Skulls will get the football. Hey, that's a big time play right here, right there by Sheffield. Just sticking his back foot into the ground and driving to the football in the out route. That Great was, job. Yep. Big was, time play. That was just what the Sugar Skulls need. So each team now with a defensive stop, and it couldn't have come at a better time with 3.10 to go here in the first half as the Sugar Skulls would love to march this down, take the lead, and not leave any time left for the Panthers. Yeah, in a perfect world, that's exactly what you want, right? Score with no time left, still a possession. Yep, and the clock does move, remember, until the final minute. So it's underway now, and back to work goes Malik Mitchell, the rookie quarterback for the Sugar Skulls. He's all alone in the backfield. Looks to his right, back to the middle, throws, and it's complete to Kerrigan, and Kerrigan just kind of had to wait for it and falls forward to the 24. Yeah, just again coming back to that bread and butter, right? The goal with the crossing route right behind it, just 
Nice, simple, high, low. And we'll take a look Good at job it by here. the receiver. Yeah. Find that open window in the middle of the field. A nice job of protecting Malik Mitchell as well. Gave him a throwing Absolutely. window there. Absolutely. First down now at the 24. Fires again to Kerrigan. And that's going to work all day, apparently. Yeah, work in the middle of the field. Get, Mitchell did a great job of just getting that ball out quick. Catchable ball right in his outside shoulder so he can turn and get the first down. You see the Good replay job. of it here. Yeah, picks up 11. So a first down right out to the 15. And Kerrigan hanging on this drive, which is great to see. Yeah, putting that safety in a position where he's got to cover, then come try to come and tackle it. It wears on you when you're playing that middle man. Kerrigan and Marshall out here to the right in motion. Handoff. Mike Jones cuts up and falls forward for a couple. And that's okay. You kind of want to burn some clock here, right? You don't want to score too fast. Yeah, absolutely. And the clock keeps running now. And if he wants, they can run it all the way down to the one-minute warning if they'd like. But I think they're going to go ahead and run a play here. And if you score, you score. It's not that you don't want to score. It's just, you know, if you get the opportunity, yes, score. But yeah. it'd be, a, as you said, a perfect world. You'd want to take this all the way down. That coach is probably just going to. Oh, it's going to be a keeper and upended right there about the 12-yard line. Picks up one or two more is Mylake Mitchell, and now you let it go down to the one-minute warning, which actually comes at 57 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, you, sometimes coaches like to kind of take a look at what their formation, what they're going to give them defensively, right? right? And um, they decided to go with a play. It's kind of an interesting one. The officials are talking about maybe a penalty here. Let's see. But uh, interesting that kind of had the lead blocker be the guy that you fake the inside handoff to. Or the yeah. Illegal okay. defense. And automatic first down with that five-yard penalty. Brad Carell with the call, the officiating crew here tonight, uh, or late this afternoon anyway, here at Tucson Arena. So we've got a timeout here on the field. You know, now it's a it's a first and goal. It should be, I thought it was an automatic. I think we're going to take a timeout here. Yeah, timeout with uh, 57 seconds to go here in the first half. Stay with us. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm going to take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men. Take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money. She's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. First down, it's a five-yard penalty, so it'll be second down. So you don't count the down, you just get the five yards. So that's it all works out for the Sugar Skulls. Now with 57 seconds to go here in the opening half. Mitchell's going to take the snap, and he's going to go around left end and get knocked out of bounds. That should stop the clock, and it does. Yeah, that one we would probably try to go down and not get pushed into the wall right. so that clock can keep running. Right, you prefer that, so it'll be third and short here. Third and one. Yeah. So ideally you would try to get the first down, not score, and then now you got four downs to, 
either get some type of points or they have very little time to get the ball back in, go down the field and score. We'll see what they do. Third and one, they need to get to the five, does Malik Mitchell. And the Sugar Skulls looks to his right. He's under pressure, rolls to his left, and he spins around. He's going to get snowed under. Ooh. And a timeout quickly taken by Rob Keefe and the uh, Bay Area Panthers with 41 seconds to play. Fourth down now for the Sugar Skulls. I think you're going for this no matter what. Yeah, absolutely. So the timeout called because they're going to put 43 seconds on the clock. Yeah, it looks like that time the defense tried to bring pressure but blitz that middle linebacker and try to get the ball and out it of works. Mitchell's hand. Yeah, yeah, and it definitely worked. Yeah. It kind of puts them in a precarious spot here at fourth down. It should be fourth and one, or fourth and goal, or I should say fourth and three from the eight to get to the five. Getting a first down is, is obviously key, and then you can pretty much do whatever you want uh, time, timing-wise. Yeah, you should have enough time to to burn a lot of a lot of clock with four downs, and like I said, get, either get three points or they get no points. Yeah, and the Sugar Skulls do have two timeouts, as do the Bay Area Panthers. And we're gonna see what the Sugar Skulls can do here on fourth down. Got to get a first down or a touchdown. Mitchell is gonna be all alone in the backfield. Sends two receivers in motion, one across the formation. High snap, fakes to his right, throws back, and boy, there was already a flag, but that that looked like Mike Jones uh, got hit before the ball got there too, but there was already a flag on the field by the time that happened. Got to be an illegal defense in that area, wouldn't you think? Yeah. They're still talking about it. So they'll get the first down by penalty. And that's what you want. The problem is the clock is stopped now. But yeah, that's, that's, that's big, big time. Yep, but now you can run it because you want the clock. You can do a lot of things here. Yeah. Most importantly, you want to score a touchdown. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, big number zero, 6'4", Mylik Mitchell. He pitches it to Mike Jones, and Mike Jones sidesteps one tackler, but that's it. He's going to get dropped for a couple of yard loss. Yeah, those ends have been doing a good job of keeping their outside shoulder open and keeping contain on pretty much all the outside runs we've seen thus far. So um, they're doing a really good job. Going to put the clock back to 35. Another timeout called by the head coach of the Bay Area Panthers, Rob Keefe. It's an interesting situation there. You know Rob Keefe, but it, that, that he is, you know, he's the head coach, but Dixie Wooten's the assistant head coach. And last year, that duo led them to the championship. And it's it's interesting that both of them had to have head coaching experience. The opening came about early in the season, and they both kind of co-managed this team to a championship. And they kind of co-manage it now in, in all by all appearances. Yeah, you know, um, when you're coaching, you want, you want people that you have great relationships with, and that's how it makes it work. And... You know, like you said, they've both won in the IFL level. Coach Keefe has been able to win at multiple levels in different leagues. And, and you know, the proof is in the pudding. That yep. works. And uh, you can see that by their, their win uh, last year in the championship game. Second and goal now. 35 seconds to play in the first half. Mitchell, Mike Jones takes it. And he's going to be dropped at the five-yard line after a pickup of one. And the final timeout called by Keefe again. So... The Panthers will be out of timeouts, but they have successfully stopped the clock with 32 seconds left. There would be enough time. In this game, any time is enough time. Yeah, any, any time. Uh, in 2011, we were playing the Jacksonville Shark in the, our first appearance in the Arena Bowl, and, and I think they had, we scored with about 17 seconds left, and we kicked the ball, and they still came back and won the game with a last-minute throw. So yep. it's always those ones you remember, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. funny how you remember the losses sometimes more than you remember <laughs> yeah. the wins, right? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, as a competitor, right, you always yep. remember those ones that stick with you. And But, yeah, to your point, um, 
yeah, you want to be able to, um, there's a lot of time left, so um, you want to be able to give the other, your opponent as least amount of time as possible. Yep. So the Sugar Skulls have two downs to make it five yards here, and they have plenty of time with the two timeouts. So, you know, in a, in a perfect scenario, you don't score here, but you score in fourth down. But yep. you'll take it any time now in either of these plays. So here we go. Third and goal from the five, Malik Mitchell takes the handoff, fakes the handoff, fakes the throw under pressure, and he's going to be spun down at the 14-yard line, and that's not ideal because now it's fourth and goal from the 13 or 14-yard line. Now they're going to give him the 11, a forward progress to the 11, and they're just going to let this run down, and this is going to be the final play no matter what. So smart move there. And my league did not want to throw the football there and get the clock to stop. That's why he didn't throw it. But you would have liked to have gotten some kind of progress out of that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's a tough one. You I think kind of, he looked like he wanted to make a play, but at the end of the day, he made a good decision by holding on to the yep. ball. And now they're going to kick a field goal. Yep. Get some points. So now you'll, you know, what was an opportunity to take the lead at halftime, at least you'll only be down one yeah. if you can get the snap, the hold, and the blocking to work, unlike the last time when the penalty on holding and then they, uh, the line wasn't able to hold the Panthers and they got a partial tip of that ball. Yeah, closing out the start of the, the end of the half and the start of the half are very crucial situational um, times. Dimitri Fatinos, the Tucson product from Saguaro High School and Pima Community College will attempt a 27-yard field goal here on the last play of the first half. It's down. It's up. And it looks like it was to the right. No good. Missed it to the right. That's unfortunate. Sugar Skulls did everything right there but actually score. So a disappointing at a 14 to 10. So this game is a funny game, Nick, when you've got a 14-10 score in the first quarter, and nobody scored in the second quarter. That doesn't happen very often in this game. Yeah, no, it doesn't at all. Um, that's just testimony of how much they've game planned against each other and, you know, to the coaches of getting their defenses ready, you know. Yeah, and they certainly have one of those situations where, uh, you know, you'd like to have scored there and you'd like to have uh, gotten the lead or at least cut it to one, and it just didn't happen as the Sugar Skulls uh, you know, kind of were shut down there for most of that, for most of that uh, third, uh, second quarter. That uh, we're going to take a timeout here. We're going to be back to break this one down and kind of look forward to what the second half will be for the Sugar Skulls as they trail the Bay Area Panthers now here at halftime. The score is 14 to 10. Stay with us. You're watching Sugar Skulls football. Hey you, we've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. The thing that drives me every day as a dad is him. Every day he's hungry for something. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that he's a good person. I think the advice I would give is you don't need to know all the answers. It's okay to make mistakes as long as it's coming from love then it kind of starts to work itself out.
choice but to lace up Every day is game day Off my third contract You still on that same play Pop spit it out But I got family sitting chain links Oh you bout that action Tell them boys you bout the same thing Lying harder but I got the eye of an eagle I put the city on my back Look I'm gonna ride for my people And once I take the stage I'ma start like evil can evil I built the conquer heights My mind's a Danny DeVito And once I get my first ring I'm manifesting the sequel Yo this the IFL Swear to man become heroes of in the man Are you ready for that? Hey you, we've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. Football. We love the plays. We love the hits, but not the pain. Some people use ice, but others use Pima Pain Center. Being a parent, especially for the first time, with that comes a lot of self-doubt. As a dad, I just try to lead by example. When you're trying to be the best person that you can be, your kids see that and then they emulate that. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm gonna take custody of my daughter. This is my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men, take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. 
Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Football. We love the plays. We love the hits, but not the pain. Some people use ice, but others use FEMA Pain Center. Hey, you. We've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance where our low price is your priority. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. When they learn something new, and you can just see in their faces, it's such an incredible moment. It's those moments that are my favorite. Hey you, we've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance where our low price is your priority. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. The thing that drives me every day as a dad is him. Every day he's hungry for something. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that he's a good person. I think the advice I would give is you don't need to know all the answers. It's okay to make mistakes. As long as it's coming from love, then it kind of starts to work itself out. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm going to take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men. Take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money. She's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. 
Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Hey you, we've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. The thing that drives me every day as a dad is him. Every day he's hungry for something. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that he's a good person. I think the advice I would give is you don't need to know all the answers. It's okay to make mistakes as long as it's coming from love then it kind of starts to work itself out. Welcome back to the Boneyard. I just saw some mariachis and folklorico dancers. A terrific sight to see here with the Tucson Sugar Skulls. And Nick, your first uh, Sugar Skulls game. And uh, well, you see the fiesta that we have here. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Uh, it brings back memories growing up as a kid. My mom actually made me do that dancing. And so yeah. to say that's probably why I have good feet in the pocket. There you so. go. <laughs> See, it translated into yeah, you being you a three-time uh, <laughs> Arena Football League MVP. And yeah, that's well, just that's what a great. fun atmosphere, right? Yeah. Um, you can smell the popcorn, got fans enjoying the game. Uh, you know, it's a, just a fun atmosphere to be a part of. Come down and check out the Sugar Skulls. That's it. We always invite people to come down. It's even better in person than it is on TV. I think it's a game you have to see in person to really understand the speed. Uh, Nick Davila, the uh, former Arena Football League star, is our color analyst. I'm Pat Paris. Thanks for joining us here on the YouTube uh, broadcast for the Tucson Sugar Skulls football. Nick, as we get set for the start of the second half, what adjustments do the Sugar Skulls have to make, especially offensively when they got stymied there in the second half? Yeah, they're doing a good job of moving the ball. They have, uh, they're winning the battle between the possession. Um, they just got to take advantage of getting scores when they get inside the red zone, right? They're moving the ball, got to take advantage of getting in the red zone. On the other side, defensively, they got to get some pressure, get some sacks on Neil, make him feel that pressure. Right now, there's no sacks. He's kind of has a little bit of time to throw, and when he has time, he can make plays with his feet, as you can see in the first half. So those are probably the two adjustments um, that I would hope uh, they're, they're going to make uh, this next half. Now, Bay Area will get the ball first. Their defense doing a terrific job at shutting down the Sugar Skulls with three sacks in this game while the Sugar Skulls haven't recorded a sack yet. Ready to kick it off is Fatinos for the Sugar Skulls. And back to receive is Bailey again. And Bailey, way deep in his end zone, is going to come out flying, and he gets knocked down at the 15-yard line. Still a nice return all the way out for the starting field position of the 15-yard line for Daquan Neal and the Bay Area Panthers. You know, time of possession, yardage, the Sugar Skulls are dominating this, but the only stat that matters is the scoreboard, and they're down 14 to 10 right now as we start the third quarter. Yeah, they got to get a stop right here, set the tone for the second half so their offense can get back on the field and uh, get this lead. Sugar Skulls did get one stop there late in the second 
quarter in order to uh, get that last drive, but then they were stopped themselves on the missed field goal attempt. And you see uh, the score at 14 to 10 here underway in the third quarter. And there's Daquan Neal handing the ball off and uh, with a little bit of speed is uh, Simpson. And Simpson picks up just a couple. They've done a nice job shutting down the run game. Yeah, they've done a good job. That's a nice little wrinkle they did offensively, run the outside zone to the right, have the, the running back hop back into the backfield with the motion. Sidecar to the right now is Simpson of Daquan Neal. Now he's going to split out here and come up to the line of scrimmage. His two receivers is to, are to his left, and he throws. And that's actually Harper that's the quarterback. The second string quarterback uh, is taking the reps, Felix Harper. And we'll see, uh, don't know why Daquan Neal's not out here, but it's Harper who comes out to start the second half. But they've got a first down now at midfield. Simpson's going to take the ball, and he's going to bounce out to the right, but not much there, just picks up a yard. Yeah, nice open field tackle by Sheffield. Good job. And for Harper, you know, what's that like to come in? <laughs> You know, suddenly he probably knew at halftime he was coming out here, but uh, interesting that uh, now he gets the call and he has to take over the game plan. Yeah, when, when you're a backup, you got to prepare like you're the starter because you never know when your number's going to be called. And so far it looks like he's been preparing, and we'll see. Now, maybe it's a, just a design where he gets a rep, uh, you know, gets a series. We'll have to see. But right now he's taking the handoff or the shotgun snap, and he fires, and it's complete. And a nice move there by Williams and a ball out. No, they're going to say on the ground. Uh, so he was down. Yeah, that would have been nice, but instead it's a first down. And a nice little drive already here by the Bay Area Panthers to start the second half. And this is what happens when you defer. You get the ball at the start of the second half, and they've already got a four-point lead. The Sugar Skulls defense, no time like the present to get a stop. Hand off to Simpson, and he's got nowhere to go. That's maybe a yard. Again, doing a nice job of really not giving him much room. Yeah, it was a good job by the linebacker filling the hole, Pharrell. Just come up, make a stop, making it second and long now. That'll be second and eight here in the early going of the third quarter in a 14-10 game, the Sugar Skulls trailing. The keeper, and nicely done, the tackle made there by Sheffield. Sheffield, a couple of nice defensive plays already tonight, one with the knockdown, the ball knocked away on fourth down uh, towards the end of the second quarter, and then an open field tackle there. Yeah, big adjustment for him. First, first uh, half, he missed that tackle. This time, he made the adjustment and was able to wrap him up. Felix Harper getting the start here in the second half for the Bay Area Panthers. Facing now a third and six. He's going to keep it. Plenty of room, and Harper is going to score for Bay Area to add to the lead. Yeah, that was a good play call by, by uh, Coach Wooten right there. They saw something here, and they came out running. Yeah, he just did a good job there counting numbers, right? They, they brought that other linebacker, played four over three versus the trips receiver, and you had your isolation with the running back leading up uh, for the quarterback. Good play design. The Bay Area extends their lead. Up 20 to 10, waiting for the extra point try. High snap, but Harper gets it down, and the extra point's drilled through. So 21-10, now the Sugar Skulls find themselves trailing by 11. Now with 10-18 to go here in the first half. We're going to take a timeout. Sugar Skulls get the ball next. You're watching Tucson Sugar Skulls football. Hey, you. We've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your... My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. 
We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. We love the plays, we love the hits, but not the pain. Some people use ice, but others... Arena. Sugar Skulls fans a little stunned at what happened there. We just right down the field all on the ground, basically, except for one uh, pass play. Yeah, especially with the backup quarterback you know, he did a good job of taking what the defense gave him. And again, it was, I think Coach Wooten did a good job of uh, having a nice little play calling series right there. We'll have to see if Duquan Neal comes back after that or we see him over on the bench, but uh, we did not see him in that opening drive of the second half. But we did see Felix Harper lead them down and score the touchdown. Bouncer, and it is fielded by Kerrigan. He's on the fly and knocked down at the 16-yard line. <laughs> Big head of steam up there, didn't he? Yeah, he came downhill and, and laid the wood right there. That was a good job by uh, the defender on the Bay Area side. And you see the replay of it as he picks it up with his shoestring and, and he gets walloped. Good field position, though, to start the drive uh, just across the 15 at the 16-yard line for the Sugar Skulls as Mylink Mitchell gets his second half crack now at the Bay Area defense, uh, now trailing by 11, something they're not used to. A narrow loss to open the season in Northern Arizona, and then, of course, last week at Duke City, they had the big win. Fires it complete, and that's Marshall. Jalen Marshall gets spun around for a while, and... That'll be out across the 20 to the 22, uh, bring up a second and about three, maybe four. Yeah, good decision by him, right? I mean, I tell quarterbacks in this league, you get three or four check downs, you're in the red zone, right? So they wanted to take a shot at the post, right? It wasn't there, found his check down real quick, now it's second and four. Does that impress you about this youngster that he's able to do that? Yeah, the, the decision making, the process of this game is a little different than the outdoor game and his transition has been uh, very special to, to watch. Mitchell, empty backfield for him. Looks left, under pressure, and now he's going to get sacked. And that is a big sack by Dayton Jackson. And Jackson, one of the returners from that championship team of a year ago and doing his job just kind of, you know, holding off that block and finally grabbing a paw on him. Yeah, he just did a good job of collapsing the pocket from the front side of the, of the defense. Now, the loss takes it all the way back to the 16, so it's basically third and 10 again. So a fourth sack, and if there's a one glaring issue tonight has been the inability to, to, to stave off those sacks, it's four now for the Bay Area Panthers. Yeah. That changes the complexion of a, of a drive in a hurry. So third and 10 now for Mitchell in a game where they're already trailing by 11. The lefty fakes, feels the pressure, rolls, dumps it off, and Mike Jones cannot quite reach his arm up there enough to pass a little out of his reach. Yeah, the sacks, uh, they're drive killers, right? I mean, especially in this game, it's really important that you try to get rid of the ball or try to do a good job of protecting your quarterback in this game. Now fourth down, and this is already a situation you know, you're aggressive anyway. You're probably going to go for this, but there's not even a sense of, well, we got to try a field goal here. You're going to go for it. Yeah, yeah, you know, time's, time's kind of not for a little bit behind, but you know what? Uh, just takes one, one first down to get the momentum going again. wonder if they'll try to go back to Kerrigan again. Yeah, probably try to work the middle of the field, maybe that crosser. Yeah, if you're going to get delay a game. There was a little confusion as to, uh, yeah, who the uh, 
who the guys in motion were going to be. At first, Kerrigan lined up on the line of scrimmage, and then all of a sudden he tried to jog back to the backfield, and by the time he went in motion, the play clock had expired. A couple of uh, unforced errors have hurt them as well, not only the sacks, but a couple of uh, penalties that uh, you would expect maybe in the first game, but maybe not the third game. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a part of the deal that's going to happen when you have a lot of rookies, but... You know, like you said, they're in game three, and they should be ready to get in and out of the huddle. Here we go. All right, Kerrigan is one of the guys in motion, and this time he's looking at Kerrigan, waiting. Now he's going to fire, and it's nice. incomplete. Jalen Marshall just cannot hang on, and you've got to credit the defense in that one as well as Antoine Kincaid, the defensive back, was all over him. But, boy, that sure looked like it was going to be a first down. Yeah, it did look like, it, you know, you got to make those tough catch, catches in those tough situations. Looked like he had time trying to throw it away from the defender coming, driving down here on his inside shoulder. That's stop number three already for Bay Area, and we're only in the uh, what, midway through the third quarter. That's three stops a game, as I said in the open. Uh, that, that's uh, usually enough uh, for success to win a game, but they've got three here in the third quarter. Stops are so big, and now you put your defense in a really tough spot, Nick, when you've got the, you know, their starting field position is your 11-yard line. Under pressure, fires, and uh, that's going to be a complete pass for about six, seven yards uh, all the way inside the five to the four. And it's still Harper in there, by the way. Yeah. You know, it's just a good job by him getting the ball on quick, right? Um, they got to get a stop right here. Be ready for the, um, you know, the run again right down inside inside the five. Now it's still no time to panic, but boy, you're already down by two scores and you're looking at being down by almost three really here. Yeah, it's it's arena football. You can get back in the game real quick, yep. but you never want to be down 21. And Felix Harper is going to take it for a touchdown again, his second touchdown of the half. And suddenly Bay Area goes up by a score of 27 to 10. Scoring happens fast, even on the ground in this game. And uh, a guy none of us thought we'd be seeing to this extent, the backup quarterback, Felix Harper, with his second TD run. Waiting for the extra point here. They don't have enough guys on the field. Now they do. Uh, that was the long snapper. <laughs> you didn't have the long snapper. Yeah, you need the, the long snapper. <laughs> Your starting receiver as well. Yeah. Stokes. And it's good. 28 to 10 now. Two quick scores by Bay Area and an 18 point deficit. Something I don't think either one of us thought we'd see in this game, especially the way the game started in the back and forth affair. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's just, that's the game of arena football, indoor football. Yep. Uh, it's going to go certain ways, but you're never out of a game. All right, we're going to take a timeout. Five minutes to play here in the third quarter. Sugar Skulls get the ball for uh, next. Hey, you. We've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son. We're here. You're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it, and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. The thing that drives me every day as a dad <laughs> is him. Every day he's hungry for something. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that he's a good person. I think the advice I would give is you don't need to know all the answers. 
it's okay to make mistakes. As long as it's coming from love, then it kind of starts to work itself out. Back here at the Boneyard, the Sugar Skulls trailing now 28 to 10. And the Sugar Skulls really need to get something going here. The squib kick, Kerrigan fakes left all the way down the sideline, only the kicker to beat, and he's tackled at the 21 yard line. Wow, he's found just a little bit of room along the boards there. Yeah, nice return, good good one step and cut and getting vertical right there. Maybe good that, tackle by the kicker as yeah, well. Yeah, it was a good tackle, but uh, maybe this will get the Sugar Skulls going and certainly get this crowd going. The crowd is out of it right now because they've seen a couple of quick scores on the ground by Bay Area that took a 14-10 game and made it a 28-10 game in a hurry. Yep, got to, got to start fast right here, get a score. Now Malik Mitchell, the reigning Indoor Football League Offensive Player of the Week. Scores four, averages four touchdown runs a game, and he hasn't had one yet. Looking deep, firing. There's Kerrigan, and he's thrown down. Boy, that looked like it was a, a little early on the coverage there by Tyrone Cromwell, and Cromwell is posing for everybody after that one. Uh, the Boo Birds are out. I thought it was a little early. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a little early, you know. Um, but I, again, you could challenge these type of calls now, right? Yeah, you, know. you could. Oh, well, they need to get right back to work. It's only, you know, 346 left in the third quarter. There's, we talk about this game being like basketball and teams make runs. And you just saw Bay Area make a big run. Now you've got to see the Sugar Skulls make a run with a couple of scores. Complete to Marshall. Marshall. Not down yet, because he landed on top of the player. And they're going to give him an extra yard or two after that second effort. Marshall's impressive, but they haven't listed at six feet. I think it's a little generous, but he's, uh, he's got great hands. He's got a great resume coming out of Ohio State as well. Yeah, a bit of a load. You know, he's got low center gravity, very hard to take down. Third down now and four for the Sugar Skulls in a game where they trail 28 to 10 here with just under three minutes to go in the third quarter. Mitchell feels the pressure, steps up, finds a little room, gets the first down, and he keeps going, and he throws to the defender back as he goes out of bounds through Kincaid back a few yards when he went out. Yeah, just a great play, pushing up in the pocket, getting what you can, getting the first down, putting that football on the outside shoulder so you can use that that right inside hand to get a stiff arm, a stiff you know, good arm, job. Yeah. Good job by him. First down for the Sugar Skulls, and you can just feel the maybe some confidence coming back to this offense that lost a lot of it there in the second quarter and in here to the third quarter until now. Yeah, Coach Coach Back is doing a good job this series, getting him into a rhythm, you know, have some high lows. If it's not there, check it down. Like I said, you get a couple check downs, now you're in the red zone, right? Sitting at the 16. Mitchell handoff to Mike Jones, get the big guy going, and he's outside, and he's against the wall. He's going to go out of bounds, but he's, not, he's going to get a first down first, down to the five-yard line. Yeah, he just does a great job of being a big back, but also getting skinny. Skinny, and, right? Getting skinny in between those gaps, man. <laughs> just great job. It tells you about his footwork that you can have that much momentum going with that big frame of his, but at the same time, you can kind of tiptoe down the sidelines. Yeah, it was just a beautiful run by him. Down to the six officially now. So first and goal from the six to get this team back into this contest here at the Boneyard. On this Sunday late afternoon here in Tucson. High snap. Mitchell gets it, and he's got nowhere to go. That was just kind of off schedule as soon as the snap was uh, too high. Yeah, it starts with the snap, and, you know, he did a good job of not play, making a bad play worse, right? He got, got the ball, got what he can, getting vertical, and trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. It's not been a problem so far. 
Cordell Brewster is the uh, the veteran center that uh, is in his second season out of Lafayette, Louisiana Lafayette with the Sugar Skulls. And he's done a nice job tonight. That was the first kind of poor snap. But back to work go the Sugar Skulls. Still goal to go. It's second and goal from the seven. The lefty surveying, fires. Touchdown, Marshall, second of the game, Jalen Marshall, and the Sugar Skulls are back on the board here in the second half. Yeah, good job of buying some time by the quarterback and the receiver working back to him down the line of scrimmage. Good there job. is a penalty flag in the end zone. We'll have to see what the referees are going to call here. Well, there you go. Decline that pass interference, and Tucson has, the, for the second time in this game, the Mitchell to Marshall connection. Yeah, that was a big, big, big series for the offense and for the Sugar Skulls to get on the board and cut this lead before the start of the fourth quarter. And it's good is the extra point, cutting the lead to 28-17. So... Just a little bit closer now for the Sugar Skulls here with just 26 seconds left in the third quarter. But the key now is, obviously, Nick, is you got to get stops too. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, you got to get some stops so you can get that offense back on the field. And, you know, uh, credit to the, the backup quarterback coming in. And it looks like they're rolling without, without uh, Neil, right? So they got to find a way to disrupt his timing, make him – Force him to throw the ball down the field yeah, a little bit. Because he's been doing it mainly, primarily with his feet. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, definitely uh, has the ability to run. I always, you know, love to pick the brain of a, an arena football guy as we're here in the indoor football. Is, you know, this, this league is very successful now, and we, uh, we love this game. It's just a little different, and one of the nuances is just really the more ability to run the football, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, when, uh, when you have that dual-threat quarterback, and now the, the defenses kind of have one linebacker in the box, and now you can have a lot of different coverages. It, it really puts a bind, and it's a true true transition from the outdoor game into the indoor game. And so, um, you know, a lot of great athletes are playing quarterback now, and this is another um, league where they can showcase their skills. Well, that's going to go out the back, and that is going to take the ball out to the 20-yard line. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Uh, that's... You know, that's something you don't see in the outdoor game, that if it goes out to the back of the end zone. In the outdoor game, that was that was a good thing, right? Then nobody can return it. Although in the NFL, now we're going to see the different uh, kickoff coming up uh, this next season, too. Yeah. It'll be interesting, right? Yeah, it should be interesting. You know, they're trying to always, you know, keep it safety, safety first. Safety player of so, the player, um, yep. You know, I think they're going to take the rule that they did with the UFL and mm -hmm. have the guys line up on the 20, and once it gets kicked, then they can go after the ball. So we'll see how that works. Just like anything, it'll be an adjustment, but we'll get used to it. And then we'll wonder how we ever did it the old way. Harper back in at quarterback, looking deep, and Harper's going to throw it, and he's got a man, and that's a touchdown over the boards. Goes the receiver, Stokes, and I believe they're going to call it a touchdown, and they are. And that is an impressive catch by J.T. Stokes. Yeah, Good, good route, good timing with the throw, right? Because of the rounded end zones, we lose some space on the field, and he did a really good job of coming up with that catch against the wall and going over it. And in this game, you have to have the ability to do a lot of things. So not only did J.T. Stokes just make a tremendous catch over the boards, now he's got to go line up as the long snapper on the extra point. How crazy is that? You know, that's something coaches always talk about and scouts having multiple hats, right? Being able to do special teams and being able to go out there and catch a tough catch against the wall. Uh, that was impressive. Now the extra point try. And give Bay Area credit. Uh, not only have they overcome uh, a changing of, to the backup quarterback, but now they're thriving in this uh, game, it seems like. As we end the third quarter, it's now 35-17 after the touchdown pass. Stay with us. You're watching Tucson Sugar Skulls football. Football. We love the plays. We love the hits, but not the pain. Some people use ice, but others use Pima Pain Center. Hey, you. 
We've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. When they learn something new, and you can just see in their faces, it's such an incredible moment. It's those moments that are my favorite. Sugar Skulls fans here at the Boneyard Tucson Arena. They've just seen their team get scored on rather quickly. 35-17. Skulls now trail outscored by uh, a 21 to 7 margin there in the third quarter Nick uh, in that uh, you know we, you have to take your and tip your cap to Bay Area Dixie Wooten and what that offense has been able to do yeah especially this half with the backup quarterback just driving down the field like uh, the, he's been the starter all season it's this almost like they lulled them into thinking well this guy's only going to run and that's going to be it and then all of a sudden they go for the deep shot yeah yeah you know um, good job on their part Peterson kicking it off now, up by 18. A line drive caught by Kerrigan. He's got a head of steam up, and then he's tackled at the 17-yard line. Here comes a late flag, probably against the Sugar Skulls. This could back them up. And I think uh, Ron Keefe is pointing back him up. Rob Keefe has had a lot of success in just a year and a quarter here with the uh, Bay Area Panthers for sure. Yeah, he's a proven winner, right? And um, very energetic. I've played in a lot of games against him when I was a quarterback and he was a defense coordinator. You had to, you had to watch a lot of film because he, you know, he was watching a lot of film and trying to get his team prepared. So. Well, now the Sugar Skulls have to score quick here as the clock is moving now as we've begun the fourth quarter and a 35-17 deficit for Malik Mitchell. High snap, fakes, throws over the head of Marshall. Marshall's thrown down to the ground as he can't quite get high enough to get that football as it goes into the stands and a souvenir. The best part of this game, right? Yeah, pretty cool. You can get a football. You know, at the end of the game, sometimes, uh, you know, when we didn't want to run the football, I would just scramble back and I would look for a fan to throw it as high as I can to kill so much time. There and, you go. You know, I would always try to throw it as much as I could to kids. <laughs> Did the organization know that you're you know, launching $35 into the stands <laughs> uh, on purpose? Yeah, I don't know if they knew that. I probably <laughs> would get fined if they knew. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Second down now, Mitchell under pressure, throws, and it's in to intercepted, and that is intercepted now by Cromwell, and Cromwell runs it back to the 19. That ball was tipped, and Cromwell made a nice, uh, nice grab. Now there is a flag on the play. We'll have to see. Cromwell thinks the INT will count. Yeah, the penalty was after the play, but okay. uh, just a good job by them of having that free safety in the middle of the field. and. You know, they looked like they had some pressure up the middle. They did, and the ball, the ball just issues. zipped right through. I think it was headed towards Marshall. And that interception uh, will obviously be backed up by that face mask penalty, but an interception nonetheless, nonetheless in Bay Area now with four stops in this game. 
And things are looking a little grim for the Sugar Skulls here, even with 13 minutes left. You uh, can ill afford to let them score here, Nick. Yeah, they got to find a way to get a stop, right? Got to find a way. Last time they came out and played man, trying to get pressure on the, on the quarterback, and he threw a nice little corner round to the back of the end zone. So we'll see the adjustments right here. Felix Harper again at quarterback, and he hands off, and uh, not much running room, but a couple of yards picked up on the inside handoff. And that was Stokes on the carry. Stokes was the one who caught that pass and held on flipping over the board. So at the end of the third quarter, he's an impressive player, and he's been been around the league for a little bit. And uh, you know, th there's no doubt that uh, the former Rattler is uh, one of the good ones. Just under 13 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. as the Panthers are trying to add even more to this lead and the Sugar Skulls are in desperate need of a stop and a threaded perfectly in there to Pierre Williams is a first down play. It'll pick up about 17 yards. Now there is a flag there and uh, Dixie Wooten, the offensive coordinator for the Panthers does not look happy. Looks like it's going to be a late no, hit. His late hit. Yeah, there you go. Well, he wasn't happy because of the late hit. He wasn't. It wasn't that he was uh, dishap, uh, dissatisfied with one of his own players. Yeah. Well, when it rains, it pours right now for the Sugar Skulls defense. You know that ball just barely made it there too, and uh, yet you know that's game of inches, right? Yeah, yeah. He threaded the needle on that one. Just a high low, like they just did the the previous drive. Now, first and goal for Bay Area in a game that's getting away quickly from the Sugar Skulls in their home opener. And the backup quarterback, Felix Harper, is the one that's done all this damage here in the second half. He has Shane Simpson lined up next to him, fakes the handoff, blitz coming, throws, and it's incomplete, dropped by Simpson. And there you have it, right? First pressure they get on, on the backup quarterback. You know, he's got to make quick decisions. And you can see Coach Wooten, Coach Wooten is getting on him a little bit right there. Um, he's got to know he's got to get rid of the ball quicker if that linebacker is going to come hot like that. Caleb Tanner was the linebacker in this set of downs, and he came blitzing up the middle. Sugar Skulls need more of that as they face a second goal at the eight for the Panthers. And Felix flips it and knocked in the backfield. Terrific job by Braden Utley. Yeah, good job. Just a high motor guy. He's just waiting for him to make a play, and there it was. He's been impressive through the first three games of the season. Utley out of Baylor. Another big play for him, and the Sugar Skulls defense well, trying to get that last, uh, the next stop, get themselves back in this game, and they're going to run out of time if they don't make a stop and a stand right now. Yeah. Harper has Simpson next to him in the backfield. Two receivers to the left in motion. Looks that way, fires that way. It's caught, and it's caught by Peterson. Jazarek Peterson falls forward to the five, but he'll be short of the goal line, obviously, at the five and brings up fourth down. Yeah, I'm just impressed with our Harper on that read, right? <laughs> they ran a corner route with the high-low spot route and just did a good job of reading that front side corner. The corner fell off on the on the inside receiver. He took the check down and here Makes we are right manageable here. for a field goal here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a chip shot in this game. Ball will be at the five. Yeah, that's a big, big field goal right here. Trying to get him up by three scores at 21. And this is Craig Peterson with the 22 yard field goal try. Kick is up and the kick is good. Takes it to 38-17, a 21 point lead, the largest of the game now for Bay Area, and we're gonna take a timeout. 9.49 to go 
in the fourth quarter, and the Sugar Skulls will have the football when we come back. You're watching Tucson Sugar Skulls football. Hey you, we've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance where our low price is your priority. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. The thing that drives me every day as a dad is him. Every day he's hungry for something. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that he's a good person. I think the advice I would give is you don't need to know all the answers. It's okay to make mistakes. As long as it's coming from love, then it kind of starts to work itself out. Back here, a little uh, in-game festivities. The ball tossed to uh, win a signed uh, autographed jersey for the Tucson Sugar Skulls, and one lucky fan was able to throw the little ball inside the tub and won himself a jersey. And the uh, Sugar Skulls players, well, they need to find a way into the end zone. A bunch here, Nick, as they find themselves trailing now by 21. Yeah, you kind of want to, don't hit the panic mode, but at the same time, you want to have a fast offense. Sometimes. Offensive coordinators like to do a no huddle and just huddle with the uh, interior lineman just to kind of get through that process quicker. So we'll see we'll see what they do right here. Sugar Souls have Jalen Marshall back as the return man this time. They have Kerrigan as the up back, standing in midfield now. Craig Peterson, who just connected on that 22-yard field goal to give him the 21-point lead, gets ready to kick this off. 9.49 left here in the fourth quarter. Time is running out on the Sugar Shoals. Kerrigan takes the up uh, position and scoops it up. They're going to say he made it all the way down to the... And they're going to throw a penalty now. Oh, extracurricular activity as uh, two teams get a little heated here. And it was a kicker right in the middle of all that. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, you know, we make fun sometimes of the kickers, but this guy's, Peterson, uh, it's, he's, a, he's a big guy. He likes to get in there and make those tackles. Yeah, he seems like, uh, he's like, I'm a kicker, but you know what, I'm gonna show people we're tough too. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are saying that Kerrigan made it all the way down inside the five to about the one or the two. And now they're, I assume they're going to mark half the distance to the goal if that's indeed where they mark it. Here we go. And this is exactly what the Sugar Skulls need, right? A short field, get a quick score, and then, uh, you know, the possibilities are endless. You could onside kick it, or you could just play it out and try to get a stop. Yeah, you know, uh, good, like you said, try to get a stop next time they get a score right here. And, um, you know, time is of the essence right now. It's 941. They've got to make sure they get a score. So Mitchell, first and goal at the one for the Sugar Skulls. Mike Jones, the handoff, and he stutter steps and there's nowhere to go for him. Again, a little slow developing there, wasn't it? And you appreciate that he's waiting for a hole, but it just never developed. Yeah, they, they, that D-line did a good job. It looks like Coach Keith is in a five, five front box, right? So they have two linebackers in there. Um, really good job of them uh, flowing to the ball. So you want to maybe with a little bit of pace, as you said, get uh, out of this huddle quick and 
Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to run their quarterback here, get an extra blocker up on one of the linebackers. Mike Jones is lined up next to him. And Mitchell sends his two receivers in motion. He's going to keep it. Cuts back, dives forward. Is he in? Touchdown, Sugar Skulls, Malik Mitchell. Looks like coach is going to go for two right here. Oh, no, he's, they're going to kick it. Mitchell's first rushing touchdown of the game. And a fan got the souvenir because Mitchell tossed it up to him. <laughs> Remember, the clock still runs, so even with this, you want a little bit of, you know, hurry up in your step. No good. Missed it off to the right. Hope that doesn't come back to hurt. Yeah, going to take a timeout here. 8-10 to go. Sugar Skulls trail it now, 38-23. Stay with us on Tucson Sugar Skulls. Football. football. We love the plays. We love the hits, but not the pain. Some people use ice, but others use Pima Pain Center. Hey, you. We've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. When they learn something new, and you can just see in their faces, it's such an incredible moment. It's those moments that are my favorite. Sugar Skulls score quickly on a short field, a two-yard touchdown run by Malik Mitchell. We can't say enough about Mike Kerrigan taking that kickoff at the 25 before it had a chance to, to bounce and rushing down the sideline uh, and getting inside the five yard line. Yeah, good job of getting the ball and getting what you can, getting up the boards and um, getting a quick score, right? That was the main thing. Sugar Skulls, and they try the onside kick, but it's covered perfectly by Tyrone Cromwell. Didn't even get to the 10 yards. In fact, he's gonna get it at the six and that's where the uh, Bay Area Panthers are gonna start and it just seems like everything is going Bay Area's way. Even when they make a mistake, they, you know, the ball bounces their way. Yeah, you know, um, that's a part of the game, but you know, you know, the reason why I would, good job of onside kicking here now, the time, now they got a shorter field, which right. is not what you want, but now you get to slow the clock down a little bit, right? And force them to either score or you get a stop quicker, quicker than a long possession driving the field. Oh, the Panthers now with the ball at the seven. First and goal, under eight minutes to play, and they're leading 38-23. Harper going to keep it, and he's going to spin his way inside the five down to the four. Oh, he just wouldn't give up on that, just spinning and spinning and driving those legs. Yeah, you, good job of getting positive yards. And, uh, you know, just he, I'm really impressed by this kid. He's doing a great job coming in and being prepared. And, you know, they haven't really skipped a beat offensively. No, they haven't. In fact, they've been way more productive here in the second half with him at quarterback than they were with uh, the star quarterback in Dequan Neal. Felix Harper gets the play called and breaks the huddle and we're approaching the seven minute mark to go in a game that the Sugar Skulls now trail by 15. Harper fires left, caught and it is down at the one yard line, that's Stokes again. He's upset, he thought he reached the ball over, but they're gonna say at the one yard line, maybe the half yard line. 
Got the ball out quick. Yeah, he sure did. I was just about to say that. Got the ball, ball out quick. Good job of uh, Phillips being strong and making sure he didn't get across that goal line on the tackle. Third and goal now at the half yard line as Dixie Wooten has called the play for the Bay Area Panthers. Felix Harper breaks the huddle. Now a little redirecting on where the players should be. Harper's going to keep it. Big hole, touchdown, Bay Area Panthers. And that puts the Sugar Skulls in a big hole. Yeah, just a good job. Both sides on the offensive side when the Sugar Skulls, they ran the quarterback lead. And right here, they run it again. It's, it's a very tough, hard, a very hard play to stop inside the red zone when you have that extra uh, blocker with the running back. So it's been the Felix Harper show here in the second half. Yeah, he's been lining it up. This is their, if he kicks this, this will be 31 points here in the second half. And it's really been because of the ability of Harper to get this offense going that has resulted in this now big lead for Bay Area. Extra point try by Peterson. And it's blocked. And that's a live ball. And it's piled up on at the 22 yard line. And so at least something went the Sugar Skull's way in the last minute. Well, both teams have missed an extra point now. And we're going to take a timeout. 5.08 to go. Sugar Skull's trailing by the unusual score, 44 to 23. We'll be right back. You're watching Tucson Sugar Skulls football. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. When I got the opportunity to get her, there wasn't no choice. I told myself, I'm going to take custody of my daughter. It's my baby. That's what we're supposed to do as men take care of our home, build a foundation, you know what I'm saying? Love, our money, she's my purpose. I'm here to walk with her, hold her hand until she can walk alone. Ain't nothing like being a father in this world. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Sugar Skull set to receive this kickoff after the Bay Area Panthers just scored again. Felix Harper, the backup, takes over to start the second half. All he's done is four touchdowns, three on the ground, one through the air, add, an extra, add a field goal in there, and that's where you get to the score of 44-23 after the Sugar Skulls only trailed by four at halftime. Yeah, he's been doing a great job. He's seven of eight. Uh, Making good decisions with the football. So, you know, when you do that in indoor football, you're always going to have a high percentage uh, to get your team on the winning side. Peterson, this time he's going to drill a little deeper, and this is Marshall, and Marshall weaves his way across the 15 to the 16 yard line. It's a little cat and mouse game on those kickoffs, right, of where you're going to position Kerrigan and where they're going to try to kick it. Yeah, there's a lot of different kicks that the, the, kick, the kicker can do, right, to get his guys down there as quick as he can. Now, while it looks bleak, nothing's impossible in the indoor game, but the Sugar Skulls need to score 
quickly. Yeah, well, interesting to see what uh, Coach Keep does with the defense. Is he going to make them check it down and drive the field, or is he going to go after him? And because they've had good success at um, being able to get to the quarterback a little bit this game. They have been pressuring him, especially here in the second half. Mitchell throws open and caught, and that is C.J. Tate, and that is a Sugar Skulls touchdown. Nice catch, but an even better run. And what more could you want as far as the time, right? First play, get a touchdown, right? That's good job. They played a zone. He found that little soft area up the wall between the safety and the linebacker. Good job on both of the receivers, uh, him and the receiver. C.J. Tate did a really nice job of turning on the Jets right after he caught the football. Going for two right here to cut that lead. Remember the clock continues here until the uh, point after try is completed. Only in the final minute would the clock stop of each half. And Mitchell sends two in motion. Looks right, under pressure, rolls right, and he's gonna make it in the end zone for the two-point try. Yeah, good job of him finding the hole and just taking it, right? Great job. So down 44-31 now are the Sugar Skulls, and still 317 to go, but something's gotta happen on the either onside kick or defensive side of things in order to kind of change this momentum fully. Yeah, they just need to get one stop to get, get them back in the game right here. A lot of time, there's a ton of time in indoor football with three minutes left. You know, I like that you know, Malik Mitchell has kind of had to fight through some things here in the second half, especially with pressure coming at him, but he's found a way and he did it just then. Yeah, he's, he's, he's getting battle tested. He's, he's going through all the, all the stuff you're gonna go through in an indoor football game. And, I always tell the quarterbacks, never ride the emotional roller coaster because this game, you could be back in it in a second. So always stay even kill and just keep balling. You mentioned there's so many different things a kicker can do on a kickoff, and there's a lot of different ways you can onside kick a football too. And and for the Sugar Skulls and Dimitri Fatinos, the last one wasn't successful. You wonder if he'll, he's got a, another one in his bag of tricks of, of of, of getting that ball onside kicked. Yeah, and where he's lining up the ball, he can either do a hot shot or a or a high dribble. The last one they did was a middle dribble, so we'll see. They're gonna kick away. Driving it deep into the back of the end zone and a nice job of serpentining his way out is Williams and Pierre Williams gets out to the 20. Yeah. Right, here we go, defense. Yeah, defense has got to do a number right now on the Bay Area. Something they haven't been able to do is slow down Felix Harper here in the second half, but no time like the present. And in the past, you know, um, studying Coach Wooten and I was a coach for one year, you know, he kind of still likes to throw the ball um, with bubbles and screens and hitches, and so we'll see, see his play calling um, this series. Harper by himself in the backfield now. Takes the shotgun snap. Quickly fires an incomplete. Nice job defensively of Phelps coming up there to put pressure on the ball was a little low. Yeah, good job of driving that inside shoulder by Phelps. So incomplete. Now the clock doesn't stop yet because they're not inside a minute. But you, uh, and now, you know, Dixie's going to take every bit of this play clock to have Harper call the play. They'll walk up to the huddle, taking their time. Harper looking deep, throws that way, and that's going to be, wow, there wasn't a flag on that. Mm. Sugar Skulls might have gotten a little bit of a break there. Jalen Phelps looked like he tugged on Stokes a little bit on the waste area, but no penalty called. Under two minutes to go though, the clock is definitely not in the Sugar Skulls favor here. 
Dixie is really methodical about calling this play now. Yeah, he's doing a good job of killing the clock. It's third down. They've got to get a stop right here yeah. and force them into that fourth down. Now the Sugar Skulls have three timeouts, but you're not ready to use them quite yet. Maybe you'll use it after this play if you can get it incomplete. No, it's complete, and it's right out near the first down. A nice job of Harper finding Pierre Williams again, and Williams has got a first down, and that might have just done it. Yeah, that was a, a very good throw to the backside, an uh, uh, out route, which is very hard to run in this game. Did a really good job of attacking the DB's inside shoulder and then working back to the wall. Yeah, timeout called here, and the Sugar Skulls are just going to have to use timeouts now, but it's not looking good that the, uh, the clock just is not in their favor now. One minute warning, I guess they will let it go down to the one minute warning and that's where we'll stop. We're gonna take a break here. 44-31, Sugar Skulls trailing, one minute to go. Stay with us on Tucson Sugar Skulls football. Hey you, we've got something new in the store. Well, not really in store. It's in your home, in your office, where you play, wherever you are. My point, son, we're here, you're there. Wherever that is. Tucson Appliance Company is your appliance concierge. Tell us what you want. We will find it and send you photos, texts, emails, even FaceTime you the appliance. Buy it and we will deliver it. We're your personal appliance shopper. Only at Tucson Appliance, where our low price is your priority. I'm Dr. Pamela Lund, Director of Sports and Orthopedic Imaging at Simon Med Imaging. I've been reading sports MRI studies for patients and athletes at all levels for over 20 years. When you're injured, an accurate diagnosis can mean the difference between chronic pain or pain-free enjoyment of your life and sports activities. At Simon Med, we treat you just like all of our elite athletes, with state-of-the-art equipment, precise interpretation, and compassion. Football. We love the plays. We love the hits, but not the pain. Some people use ice but others use Pima Pain Center. Being a parent, especially for the first time, with that comes a lot of self-doubt. As a dad, I just try to lead by example. When you're trying to be the best person that you can be, your kids see that and then they emulate that. Back here, Tucson Arena, Sugar Skulls up against it now, trailing 44-31, one minute to play. Uh, Bay Area has the lead and the ball. Stokes takes the handoff, and he is down inside the 15. Quick timeout called by Billy Back. And the Sugar Skulls, they need something to happen, and happen in a hurry, and it's not looking good. We should talk about, unfortunately for this team, it's not going to get any easier because they play Thursday night in San Antonio against the new expansion team over in San Antonio. And uh, Nick, I don't know if you knew this or not, but they're going to take a bus on Tuesday night at 10 o'clock. They're going to overnight bus to San Antonio, have the day to kind of recover on Wednesday, and then play the game Thursday. Yeah, you know, you just got to, you know, take care of your bodies, right? It's going to be a quick turnaround. Um, the main thing is staying in game mode, right? Staying in game mode, making sure. Um, we have fresh minds so our bodies can go out there and compete, right? And maybe, you know, maybe a good thing to get right back at on Thursday. Yeah, get, absolutely. Get in game mode again and uh, maybe correct some of the things that didn't go well here in the second half especially. You know, this game in the first half, the Sugar Skulls dominated every area but the scoreboard uh, trailing 14-10, but it has been an impressive performance here by Bay Area in the second half. Yeah, they, they've really done a really good job. They're well coached. And, and this guy has been the MVP of the second half. Uh, and, you know, for the uh, Daquan Neal fans, that we don't know what went wrong and why he's not in this game in the second half, but Felix Harper was ready to go when called upon. Yeah, like I said earlier, he's, he's been preparing. You can see that to be the guy. And, you know, um, that's what you want as a head coach. You want two starting quarterbacks, right, that are competing. And uh, he's been doing a great job all night. Now, not to say the game is over, because we've seen crazy things happen in this game before, but you've got to get a stop here. And it, you would assume that, you know, with only uh, one timeout left now, or oh, they have two timeouts left because of the one minute warning. So they still have two timeouts. So they, they will definitely get the ball back at least once, if not twice. And, you know, so much can happen in the last minute of this game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, when you got the walls and 
and, and the different feels to the game. Uh, one thing as a defensive coordinator that I've seen in the past, when you know they're going to run, you know, you're going to have your safety and your backside corner being ready, high alert, firing off the ball if they do run to get in there and blitz. So we'll see. Harper with Simpson next to him in the backfield. Dixie wants a timeout. Dixie Wooten calls a timeout. The offensive coordinator of the Bay Area Panthers. Yeah, he probably didn't like something he saw and rather than trying to force it, just take a timeout and draw up a play that you know you're going to have success on. Now the Bay Area Panthers, after looking really impressive last year, winning that Indoor Football League National Championship game, you know, it's not easy to come back, right? You've been there, you know what it's like. You win a championship and everybody's gunning for you the next year, and yet, here we go, Bay Area looks like they're about to improve to 3-0. Yeah, you know, you're right. Everyone's gunning for you. You're going to get everyone's best shot, you know, but what more, what more could you want as a, as a defending champion? You want the best shot so you know where you're at and so you can improve and, and get better because teams only get better or they get worse. They never stay the same. So even as a championship team, you're always trying to find ways to get 1% better than that next year. Sugar Skulls facing this third down defensively, and they've got to find a way and jumping off sides is Enzinwa, and that is not what you're looking for. Is that just uh, may have given him the first down, depending on the spot? Yeah, I think they're going to give him a first and goal at the nine now. So that'll be ball game. Yeah, that's 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 huge. You got to be able to watch the football, knowing the situation, right? They're trying to get any type of freebie uh, with the yards, and got to watch the football. Yeah, especially when you're the nose tackle, right? You're on the football. <laughs> yeah, but it happens. It does happen. And now it's really just a kneel down situation for Bay Area because the Sugar Kills only have two timeouts. And once they burn those two, the game would be over. So, and there it is. And I don't think Billy Back's going to use the timeouts because it's kind of futile at this point. Yep, and the clock's going to run, and uh, they'll have to snap it one more time, and that'll be it. Uh, Nick, your first uh, game calling for the Tucson Sugar Skull is not going to work out the way we wanted, but you know the, it's a great game, and it's a it's a or, an organization that is going to do what it takes to win and win and make it to the playoffs, and that doesn't deter our. Uh, us from thinking this team will be a playoff caliber team. No, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, like I said, I've been to, I went to their opening game and that was a playoff team that lost to the Bay Area last year to go to the indoor game. So they're right there in the hunt. You know, you, like I said, you got to make your adjustments. Teams only get better or get worse. And Coach Back is a proven winner, he, you know, and so he'll get this team ready to go for next week against the, uh, the uh, Texas team. Yeah, the San Antonio team. and. Uh, we will be back actually in uh, oh, two weeks from now as uh, the Sugar Skulls host Northern Arizona. So the team that you saw them play in the first, you know, first game of the season, and, you know, the, the way the schedule works out with regional uh, opponents, we, we'll get to see them here on April 27th, and you and I will be calling that game as well. You know, you would uh, hope that a, a short week, Maybe that just makes these guys even hungrier to get back at it and get a win on a Thursday night in San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you win or learn, you watch the film, learn from it, um, you know, and get back on the road. That's sometimes that's the best thing for teams when they have a loss. You know, just get back into the swing of things and get back to grinding. So I, I'm looking forward to that, and I'm excited for uh, next the next game. There are things that they can take out of this. Billy back in his offense, uh, you know, Mike Mitchell still did some nice things. They finally, you know, after get stymied in that second half, they finally got a little bit of offense going, but they were just trying to play catch up, really. Yeah, it's it's really hard when you're when you're kind of behind the eight ball trying to play catch up in this game where they can play a lot more zones and slow the offense down. But I mean, the ceiling's really high for this Ricky quarterback Mitchell, and and I know Coach Back's going to get him. Uh, playing better every week. So um, the ceiling's really high for the whole team. So I'm excited to see them just compete and get better towards the end of the year. And we mentioned the seven rookies uh, starters on defense. Uh, you know, there are going to be games like this. I know it's three games in, but they're still going to make mistakes. And there were a couple of mistakes. And 
they'll learn from those as well. And that's, I guess, maybe that's a testament to a, a team is how they respond to something like this. Yeah, and being able to respond to adversity is key in all sports, right? At all levels, whether you're a young kid or you're a professional athlete. So, um, again, really excited to see how they come out and respond next week. Now, the Sugar Skulls uh, will have to respond in a hurry because, as mentioned, they play on Thursday night against San Antonio and then back here on April 27th against Northern Arizona. And then a little bit down the road, May 11th, the Arizona Rattlers come here. So uh, always fun when Kevin Guy brings his team down here. And always that interesting dynamic of he and his wife Kathy owning the franchise here while he's the head coach and general manager up in Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be fun, the battle of I-10, you know, uh, um, two, two organizations that have connections with each other. So. What a, what a perfect storyline for a rivalry. Yep, and that's down the road. Again, our next uh, telecast for you here will be in two weeks when the Sugar Skulls welcome in the Northern Arizona Wranglers, and we look forward to that broadcast as well. Uh, the uh, Sugar Skulls, uh, as an organization, have made the playoffs in three of their first four years, and that's really the ultimate goal, right? Because, Nick, as you know, you make the playoffs and anything can happen. Yeah, you just want to just want to get a, a ticket into the dance, right? And you got 16 weeks to get it get it right. So you get things rolling, get the right pieces, uh, you know, get the right as coaches say, get the right guys on the bus and in the right positions before you take them take off, right? So um, I, I, again, I'm excited, right? That's adversity shows true character. How can you come out and respond? How are you going to come out and practice? Are you going to prepare yourself? You know, you're going to prepare your teammate, right? Those are all choices that this team can make, and it can be a, a difference between uh, these close games against a playoff team like uh, the Panthers or, um, you know, winning or losing. So, um, again, excited for the future, and I know Coach Back is going to get that team uh, on the winning side more than on the losing side. He's exactly. a proven winner. Exactly right. And I see – Malik Mitchell over there was just uh, saying hi to fans. And, you know, that's one of the great things about this game, and you know it as well as, uh, you know, as a star in the Arena League. You know, this is a very approachable game for the fans, and we see the tables being set up now uh, for the fans uh, to come out and get those autographs. And so, you know, that's that's the great part of this game, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's fun to give back to, to the young kids that are watching and the fans that, you know, come out and support you. So it's, it's a beautiful framework to do that in, in our game. Well, it didn't work out for the Sugar Skulls today. They fall 44-31 to the Bay Area Panthers. Our next telecast comes your way as the Sugar Skulls host Northern Arizona two weeks from yesterday. So that'll be April 27th here at the Boneyard. Get your tickets. Come enjoy the game with us. We'll see you next time here on Tucson Sugar Skulls football.